Emeritus Senior Minister Go Chok Tong says Singapore has always been and will continue to be a strong supporter of China's development. He says Tianjin Eco City, which marks its fifth anniversary this year, is an example of mutually beneficial collaborations between the two countries. Visiting the Tianjin Eco City, Mr. Goh said he was very impressed by the skill and progress of its development, having transformed from a barren land into a livable environment. The Eco City is also on track to become the first city in China to provide 100% portable water direct from the tap to residents and businesses. Mr. Goh said that Tianjin Eco City was an idea ahead of its time, well positioned to support China's efforts to address environmental protection and sustainable development. He added that Singapore hopes China will continue to find its experience and policies in some areas relevant just as Singapore continues to learn from China. We still have to look at the strategy of the eco city, how this fits in with the overall development of a beautiful Tianjin and how would that fit in with the uh, uh, president's Chinese dream. If we can integrate that, then that's where our contrib contribution will be. That means sustainable eco city demonstration project uh, replicated elsewhere. When asked about the possibility of a third government to government project between Singapore and China, Mr. Goh said that was for the cabinet to decide. In the eco city, the number of amenities such as restaurants, shops, and banks are growing. I've been here four times now. So each trip you see new stuff that they are experimenting, and in certain aspects they are ahead of Singapore. And that really is the purpose of this, uh, of this joint venture cooperation. Because for green buildings, low carbon buildings, the whole world is still searching for greater innovations. But it now faces the challenge of getting enough residents to leave there. There are currently about 4,000 residents living in the eco city. Improving transportation links between Tianjin and other parts of China will also help in its development. Moving forward, the Tianjin Eco City will focus more on software, such as piloting social management policies to create a socially harmonious community. Also, to realize this vision of becoming a thought leader in the field of eco development, it will also be essential to bring in more green companies as well as to put more resources into R&D. Christine Lim, Channel News Asia, reporting from Tianjin.